I wanted to point out, I've been thinking a bit about the story of Abraham, the whole child sacrifice that wasn't thing. Part of that story is to follow authority, in the, that specific case, God's authority, blindly, to not question. And if you take it in context, if you consider when this was actually written and the situation of the people that considered this a necessity, then you can understand why it was considered a necessity, why it was... M why such importance, importance was placed upon this particular idea, this order. But it is unbelievably important today to challenge authority, to question authority. It is a bit cliché, but it is so because it is right. To use Hitler as a perfect example of this, because when he came to power, he actually talked about peace. He was promising peace. He was talking about how there was to be no more war, and he promised to help people out of their rather pitiful situation economically, and the nation's honor, the nation's dignity, was in a sorry state. If you research this for a very short amount of time, you will know this. And yet, once he did gain power, partially through democracy, he abolished democracy in Germany, and then he started waging war, then he tried to turn an entire nation against another people. And it is quite presumptuous to assume presumptuous to say the least. It is horrible to even think that the Germans were just evil people. They were ignorant and afraid, and they followed a man who claimed he could fix everything. Now, once things started going very bad, if enough people had been able to question authority, which I feel obliged to point out they weren't, because they would be put in jail, they would be tortured, they would not be heard from again if they questioned his authority, once he had complete power. But he is an example of what can happen when you don't question authority. In his case, obviously, one should have questioned authority before he abolished democracy, before he had the complete power. It should have been challenged. Now, as I said, the Germans were afraid and desperate, and there are many people today in democratic countries who are afraid and desperate and ignorant. I can't stress this point enough. You have to think for yourself. You have to stop and question authority whenever you can get away with it. And if you are in a situation where you can't get away with it, then try to think about why that is and consider if maybe this particular authority that you are not allowed to question, or someone else is not allowed to question, why that is, and if it wouldn't be better if you were allowed to question. Because when you question someone, if what they are saying, if what they want makes sense, 
then they can answer your questions, however critical. It isn't difficult, if the truth is on your side, to explain what you want, as long as the people are educated enough to understand the nuances. And if they aren't, then there is something required in that democracy. Because education is one of the requirements for a healthy democracy.